today I found some very nice looking area where to treasure hunt. Tourists have lost jewelry here for hundreds of years. And I'm curious to see how many of these jewels I will be able to recover. I'm continuing my travel looking for treasure and beauty, always keeping in mind that there are many treasures to be found. Just waiting for someone to go rescue them from the abyss. Cold water spring is under these palm trees and all this pool is cool like in an air condition at the seaside so all the people love to hang out here but on the other side there is another little cove full of people that will swim around this area go to the fresh water go back there and so everyone who wants to get a really good chill because the water coming out of the spring is really cold uh, they will hang out here this place is really popular it's amazing and I can't wait to start treasure hunting here, you can understand well why. Here there is a tradition in this village to cut into the jagged rock side of the sea. Small pools where people can swim, connected by a channel over there to another pool and to another pool. I'm now in front of another artificial pool dug into the side of the very jagged coastline. All the shoreline is super jagged but the people here still manage to plant uh, and fix their sun, sun umbrellas on the rocks and chill out in the cold wind and jump in the sea from the many jumping spots and little bays that there are around it. Oh, look, I'm just walking here and I saw something shiny and I think that I just made my first treasure find just simply by eye. Can you see it? This is a ring. The stone is missing, but it's uh, maybe gold. No, it's not gold, it's custom jewelry. But uh, hey, <laughs> looks promising treasure hunting here, I told you. Just found a ring on this shoreline, just by eye. <laughs> I noticed that there are a lot of these beach clubs that have platforms with the sun tanning chairs, and they go to the sea through those uh, ladders. And then when they arrive there, they can jump in the water. And I guess if there is some sort of accumulation of finds in front of these uh, stairs. There's only one way to find out as usual. Go in the water and check. Walking on these stones with bare feet, it's practically impossible. So I will have to wear the fins and walk to the, to the water like this. It will be a little bit clumsy looking, but... Uh, uh, hey, I have to do it, so see you in the water. I'm on the edge of this very small and deep pool and I can see an opening over there and some rocks still there. So maybe I can access the open sea through this underwater cave. Let's go check. Whoa, wow, that was amazing. Wow, what a nice cave. Okay, I have to swim around 300 meters more to the opening on the artificial pools right there. 
and then we would arrive but what an amazing coastline underwater here wow <laughs> Here I found this platform to jump in the water from the shore, so I thought that it would be a good place to try and find some treasure. I did a few more dives in the deep spot, but disappointingly I only found some trash. Anyway, notice how deep the water is over there. There is a sheer drop of nearly 30 meters right next to the shoreline. Wow, that was a nice dive! I think that I missed the entrance of the rock bay pools. I have to go back there a bit and then the rock pools are just behind this shoreline here. So I found a channel. This is a channel connecting two large man-made pools dug in the rock. It doesn't look very promising. No one swims here because there are so many rocks and only in the pools at the end over there and in the end over there there is some people now i'll get in the water and see what treasures are hidden in these pools I try to the second pool. Let's see what we can find here.
I'm up to the water after treasure hunting in front of the freshwater spring bay and in the two man-made rock pools. The results were not so encouraging. I'll see you soon in the water for a night dive. It was too bad that today I couldn't find any treasure. I suspect that someone had already cleaned up those pools because some jewelry must have been there. But it was awesome to dive in that deep water and see these incredible underwater cliffs. Anyway, I will see you tonight for a night dive and maybe finally find some gold. So stay tuned and see you the next time, dear friends.